So the final race on day two then is the big one, the Prix de l'Art de Triomphe. And a very small field for this race, only 10 of them. And usually get fields of 20 odd in this. And it's a mile and a half group one. And the top one is Ghost Bay, Ghost Zapper, Twisted Logic, Steve Rand, Sign Polar, Derek Hinton, Badabing Alert, Molliette Surfer, Fame Seeker, David Robertson, Master Clash, Joshua Sutherland, Noise Zone, Darren Thompson, Richard Cheese, Hands, Lights and Sirens, Django, and Treaty of Versailles. Paul Rhodes, so should be a pretty good one this even though there's only 10 of them they're all in and away they go then and we get a view from the top of the stand for the start of the race, we see them racing down the Longchamp straight racing towards us, they'll come past this screen you can see it's a sort of almost like a false finish at Longchamp it catches you out sometimes because that area down there does look like when you come into it it's going to be the end of the race and then you've got to go right on again to this bit down here so it catches a few out and Ghost Bay is the early leader as we see them race past us and now we get to a more traditional view and Ghost Bay the grey horse is the leader by about two lengths two in second place Badabing Alert with the yellow sleeves, Treaty of Versailles, a three are on the outside, then Fame Seeker on that one's inside. Richard Cheese is with Sign Polar, then comes Night Zone, and, and Lights and Sirens is towards the back. Master Class is just about the back marker. But Ghost Bane is then that's taking them along. Comfortable in the lead from Badaming Alert in second. Richard Cheese wide on the track is third. Then Fame Seeker and Treaty of Versailles. Down on this inside, and we've got Noise Zone and Twisted Logic together, who are now being passed by Master Class, but they've got little more than six furlongs still to go in the Arc de Triomphe. And Ghost Bay is the leader by two lengths. Two Richard Cheese and Fame Seeker are together, second and third. Badaming Alert is four, and Lights and Science is five. Treaty of Versailles is next. Then Twisted Logic trying to get into it as well. Noise Zone is now drop to the back master class has also lost its place but it's ghost bay that's still in front ghost bay leads by a couple the rest of the field are separated by only two lengths but ghost bay is clear by two and then comes fame seeker in second treaty of versailles third richard cheese is running wide in four then twisted logic is getting going on the inside gonna have a dream run up the rails that one but they've got to get to this ghost bay and ghost bay will lead them round this turn and into the straight with just over three furlongs to race and ghost bay is in the lead here comes master class who's swept from the back now and has suddenly come through a challenge, it's Ghost Bay for Masterclass, then comes Fame Seeker, Treaty of Versailles starting to get going, then Noise Zone and Sign Polar, and suddenly now Masterclass comes up on the outside of Ghost Bay, Masterclass and Ghost Bay inside the final two furlongs, it's not a furlong and a half to go, then a Masterclass on the outside of Ghost Bay, these are clear, Treaty of Versailles doesn't look like he's going to win, it's Masterclass and Ghost Bay, Ghost Bay's fighting back, Twisted Logic beaten, it's Ghost Bay in the lead, Ghost Bay for Masterclass, here comes Fame Seeker and Noise Zone and Sign Polar, but it's Ghost Bay, Masterclass, Sign Polar, they're up towards the and Sign Polar, and here comes Twisted Logic, who look beaten, but Sign Polar and Twisted Logic fast past both together. And goodness me, if Twisted Logic has won that, it's absolute genius performance. If it hasn't, Derek Hinton has just won the arc. Well, let's wait and see, because that is mighty close, and I thought Twisted Logic had absolutely no chance about a furlong out and it's Simon Polar's won it. Derek Hinton has won the Arc the Triumph. That is probably the story of the flat season. He wouldn't have expected Derek Hinton to take the Arc the Triumph with a 92 rated horse, but there you go. And he's not beaten donkeys either. They're good horses that are behind. So Simon Polar takes it for Derek Hinton. Twisted logic. A brilliant run for Steve Rowell in second. Lights and Sirens for Django was third. Treaty of Versailles, a bit of a disappointment for for Paul Rhodes. And Noise Zone for Ghost Zapper was fifth. What a race. And Derek Hinton, while all eyes are on Cheltenham, Derek Hinton goes and wins the arc.